All right. Well, hello, Bellevue youth. We just want to uh, touch base with you again, uh, getting ready for the second episode of the Doc and Brock show. Just just waiting on Johnny to get here, and then we're, oh, hey, Johnny. Hey, man. Sorry I'm late. Sorry, guys. Well, you were a little late, but it, it wasn't because you were shaving. Man, you got you got almost a full beard there going, dude. Just about, Doc. As a matter of fact, that's the reason I was late. Kelly was uh, after me pretty hard about, about shaving, but I told her, nope. I'm going to keep it on until we finally, everybody gets to be back here at church together. So, you know, it might be a while, so I might end up looking like Santa Claus or Grizzly Adams or maybe even Bradley Thornton. I don't know. Well, you know, you can probably tell I had to shave. Uh, the, the ladies at my house, you know, I'm, I'm outnumbered so much. They wanted me to shave. They said I looked scruffy and they didn't like it. So, uh, well, I, I told her, I said, I'm going to keep it on until everybody gets to finally be back at church together. So, like I said, it might be... Might be pretty big by the time we get back. So did you explain to her the real, I mean, there's a scientific reason, right, that you're growing this uh, Yeah, thing. Doc, but she didn't want to hear it. She didn't want to hear that. What it is, is me growing this is a high-tech, high-performance coronavirus filter. Coronavirus filter. Absolutely. What, what, what I've planned on is letting it grow long, spraying it each day with Lysol. That way, when those virus germs come up close to my face, all that Lysol will kill it. Well, you know, Johnny, I don't know uh, how safe that Lysol is going to be for your face, but it, it certainly, I can understand how the little Coronas never could get through all that, that mat of hair you got going there. I mean, you think about if it really gets going good to where you look like Duck Dynasty or Santa Claus or something, you're going to be well protected. I probably need to grow mine out. Come to think that's a good idea. I'm, I'm going to try it. We'll see. Well, we just want to remind you all about our uh, our services are still going on. Uh, I, I would say as usual, but they're not as usual. The only thing that's really the same about them is the time. We are starting Sunday school at 10 o'clock, followed by a Zoom uh, discussion group. Um, there'll always be links to that, with the, along with the link to the, the service. We're doing Wednesday nights at 6.30. Had a great lesson this week, both, both Sunday school and uh, Wednesday. Hate if y'all missed it. Yeah, Doc, I, like we talked about earlier. Um, last Sunday, Sunday school lesson uh, with Miss Tony Courier, and then this past Wednesday night with Mr. Rick Sevenish. Two fantastic lessons. And I know these were these were put out and designed for, for the youth, but man, I'm a, a matter of fact, I'm 51 years old today. And uh, I got more out of it, I think, probably maybe some of the youth did. But we are truly blessed, guys, to have the teachers and the pastor that we have here at Bellevue. Like I said, uh, Miss Tony and uh, Mr. Rick, the lessons this past week were just fantastic. And again, guys, we are truly blessed to have the teachers and leaders we have here at Bellevue. And you know, if you don't catch them, at the, if you don't get to catch them at the appointed time, um, they're still gonna be up on YouTube. You need to let us know. If you can't find it, we'll be happy to shoot you a leak. Cause I know, you know, if you're like at my house, we're looking for stuff to do. I'm sure you got time to, to listen to a lesson or watch a lesson. Um, speaking of Rick, uh, I got to gotta apologize a little bit to him here. Uh, yeah, you might be in a little bit of trouble today, Doc. Well, you know, I'm sorry, 7-inch Designs, the agency, outbid you on sponsorship of this this episode today. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get back on, on track next week with that. Hey, and, Doc, speaking about the lessons we've been doing the past couple of weeks, um, uh, you and I both have noticed as we're watching these that a lot of our students that are normally here in Sunday school and on Wednesday nights for our lesson have not been online with our Sunday school and our small group uh, discussion questions afterwards. So um, we got a little plan for that, don't we? Yeah, I mean, I don't. some of you guys, I don't know if you're even still around. I mean, for all I know, you could be buried under a huge mound of toilet paper or something. <laughs> but what, what we're going to do, and uh, Doc's going to be watching this as well, if... If we don't see you guys online, the guys that we know are normally here on Sunday morning and on Wednesday night, if we don't see you online and online participating in our small group video discussion questions, next week, we're going to call you out, call you out by name. Now, guys, we've already talked about Mr. Johnny having a Santa Claus beard going. It sounds like he's got his list started already. No Doc, I do. Call you out. I've got my list and I'm checking it twice. And if you don't want your name called out on the video, we better see you online. Well, there's your warning. All right. Well, I guess that's about a wrap for another episode of Doc and Brock. We just want to remind you again, 10 o'clock Sunday, 
6.30 Wednesday night. We also want to tell you something very important. Uh, you should never take any uh, medical, legal, financial advice for us. Really, you probably shouldn't take most, much of anything we say very seriously other than when we're talking about Jesus. And always take that serious because we'd never kid about that. Y'all have a good week, and we'll see you uh, virtually on Sunday and Wednesday. Love you guys. Love you. All right, I believe we nailed it.